Hey everybody, Marcos Vegas here in Los Angeles at the uh, Conga Room, being joined by Victor Ortiz. It's uh, your kickoff press conference for your rematch against Andre Berto. Uh, a fight that uh, in 2011 was uh, one of those fights that, as a fan, made you just scream like, oh my god, I, I can't believe it. But uh, earlier uh, on the stage, a little push happened. What happened with all that? Uh, it's just Andre Berto trying to cons convince himself that he still has it, you know, I mean, trying to scare somebody, I mean, if anything, you know, you shouldn't do that to somebody like me. It just triggers me. It just fuels me, you know. I mean, and, and to top it off, the push was so weak. I mean, I'm pretty sure my girl could push me harder than that. Did you uh, say something to him or it's just too close and then he just went ahead and pushed you? I got in his face, you know. Yeah. Got in his face, called me a fag, called me gay. So I was like, all right, got you. Mm -hmm. Looking at uh, the fight from 2011 and looking at a... Uh, everything now in 2016. What do you most remember uh, about that night when you faced Andre Berto? Whooping his ass. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. No, but uh, besides that though, like what do you remember most about him when you were in there? Um, talks too much for his own good. He always writes checks he can't cash, so that's why I'm ready. I know um, he's had a, a lot of uh, fights since then. You've had as well. Do you see him as the same fighter as he was back then? Do you feel that he's improved at all? Or? I, don't, I don't see him as the Andre Berto I fought in 2011. That was a dangerous guy, undefeated, um, came for war, um, pound for pound. Not this guy. What do you think changed then, in your opinion? I don't know, but I don't see the same one. You guys might. I don't. Uh -huh. And uh, in terms of uh, you, I know you've uh, changed trainers. You, you went to uh, Oxnard again, or Ventura, excuse me, to train with uh, Coach Haas. As, uh, people are wondering, you know, why the change? Seems to, things Haas seem to be Coach looking Haas. good uh, over in uh, original, India. He's the original guy who helped me train with, uh, for Andre Berto. Yeah. He's the guy who I studied footage with. He's the guy that helped me come up with the game plan to destroy and beat and conquer the WBC against the, uh, Andre Berto. So, you know... Um, why not? I went back to uh, Ventura. Plus, I'm comfortable there. It's a, it's a place that I like to be, and I enjoy waking up to run. I enjoy to wake up to train. I have no distractions, so I'm good. Do you feel the night of the fight, when you guys are, are, are walking in there, what really makes the difference uh, in the fight, do you think? You know, we're both going to put it all on the line. Yeah. Uh, we both have, are and, and have been working hard. I know he wants what I want, uh -huh. and uh, that's, uh, like they said earlier, earlier it's like two trains are in the same, they're in the same track. And we're gonna collide. Difference is, uh, my train is made of steel and his is made of uh, styrofoam. <laughs> now, uh, looking at you, Victor, you've had a, a few fights, you've had a, a layoff, I know you're recovering from your hand uh, fully. What do you feel back in 2011 up until now, what was the cause to some of the distractions and, and as to why you had a lot of momentum taken away? No, it wasn't uh, distractions, it was just injuries, you know? Yeah. Broken jaw, broken wrist, uh, two years from my jaw, one year from my wrist. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was nothing I could do about it to, to reverse the cycle on that. So what did I do? I ended up taking on Hollywood and uh, I started a new career. Well, that seems to be uh, working well. Yeah, uh, but yeah. some uh, mentioned, like, hey, you know, Victor might be too focused on, on uh, that side of the no, things. No. I stopped acting. Yeah. I turned down two movies to do to my fights, you know. Mm -hmm. Attend to my fights once again. Get what's mine. Yeah. And uh, looking at the future, how active do you want to be this year after this fight? Uh, I, need a, I need a rated division. Yeah. And I'll be done. Mm -hmm. Do you still you see yourself at 47 oh, yeah. or going up to 54? I'm, I'm good. The cut's still good? That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you're good, man. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen you, dude. So yeah, I'm, that's I'm, what I'm good. wondering. Everything's good. Absolutely. Yeah? yeah. yeah. All right, Victor. Waiting on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good to see you. I know you're in a hurry, bro. Huh? So Victor Ortiz taking on Andre Berto in this rematch coming up April 30th at the Sub Up Center.